We're now on page 92 going to start with melodic rhythm study number one. Melodic rhythm study, sounds like an oxymoron. Melodic rhythms, that's a melody that has rhythms of syncopation. That's how we'll define it right now. Bill writes here, be sure to count the rhythm until you can feel the phrase. Eventually you will be able to recognize and feel entire groups of syncopated notes. In the beginning, you should pick down for all notes falling on the beat and up for those counted on and. This is a definite aid in learning to read these offbeat rhythms. Later on, when syncopation is no longer a problem, you will vary your picking for the purpose of phrasing and accents. We learned this when playing eighth notes. Remember, we were going with the note G, one and two and three and four and. So if we have a rhythm that's one and two and three, one and two and three, you notice the pick goes up on the ands, one and two and three. That's one thing. The other thing about rhythms is something that I've been mentioning a lot. If you have a problem with a measure of counting out the rhythms, split the measure in half, play the first half of the measure, figure that out, and play the second half. Let's look at the first measure uh, in this melodic rhythm study. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and. Well, you might get overwhelmed by looking at the whole measure, but if we look at the first half of the measure, it's only one, two. And then the second half of the measure is three and four and. And notice that and goes right into one of the next beat. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. You will start to get to used to seeing this rhythm of an eighth note, quarter note, eighth note. We've seen it a number of times in the duets. It's always one and two and. One and two and. One and two and. Or if it comes on three, three and four and. In playing this melodic rhythm study one, in playing the melody, I'm going to use straight eighth notes, not swing eighth notes. The straight eighth notes because for rhythm guitar, I'm going to use a Latin beat. Here is the melody to melodic rhythm study one. One, two, three, four. have that eighth note, quarter note, eighth note throughout this. First line, you have it twice. Uh, the third line, you have it twice. Here's the third line. Different notes, but same rhythm. And what do we have in this piece? We have two modulations. We're starting in the key of C, adding a sharp, and going to the key of G, adding another sharp, and going into the key of D that has F sharp and C sharp, and ending in that.
So this tune has two modulations. We're in three keys. Here's the rhythm guitar part. As on the bottom of the page, we can play either this or this. I will go back and forth with playing either of those two rhythms, but the main thing is straight eighth notes and keeping the time very strong. Chords to melodic rhythm study. One, two, three, four. You could choose whatever forms you want to play for those chords. You can simplify them or you can play for C major, you could play C6 or you could play C major 7. The main objective to this is to keep the time. If you're having problems playing the chords right now in that tempo, I really want you to work on the melody. That is the most important part and you can come back to the chords.